All right, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're out there. Again, Merchant Services Slayers. We're gonna go ahead today and talk about a very, very cool topic. This is gonna be kind of in the series along with how to sell traditional processing. Um, and this is the proper way to present a cost graph for a savings analysis, okay? Now, there's a certain ISOs out there, guys, that still sell a lot of different um, you know, forms of processing, whether it's cash discount, or the standard form of traditional processing, whether it's you know flat rate, interchange plus, tiered base, uh, block or ERR. Uh, there's many different pricing models out there, and whoever ISO that you work with, they they you know you present a cost graph or a savings analysis in order to show the customer or the merchant how to save money off their current fees. Now this is a very common practice that's been happening for the last 15 to 20 years. Um, how to sell traditional processing is presenting them with with a cost graph, right? You take the numbers off the statement, you throw it on the cost graph and you present it. But there's a proper way to do it that's very successful. Uh, it's actually gonna help increase your closing percentage, so on, so on and so forth. So today we're gonna talk about three things or three different ways on how you properly present a cross graph to a merchant, okay? For the best possible chance for a close and for success. Okay, uh, point number one is gonna be, you need to always present the cost graph, guys, no matter what any other coaching program tells you after a green light or what we call a trial close. You have to have some, so, um, some sort of commitment from your potential client, some sort of, you know, I will do business with you or would you work with me at least? So even a very minimal green light, like, hey, John, let me ask you this, man. If, uh, if, if everything goes well, um, you know, would you do business with me? And they say, well, I'm not gonna sign anything today. Oh, that's fine, but do I have an opportunity to earn your business at some point? They say yes, then you move forward and then you present the cost graph. It's very, very important because then what you're doing is you're actually turning someone who's a window shopper into an actual buyer, okay? Now, you don't wanna be a highly paid billboard. You don't wanna drive around and collect statements and then send out analysis and say, hey, look at this, because they're just gonna add it to, their, to the stack of analysis on their desk or cost graphs on their desk, then they're never actually gonna move on it, okay? You're never gonna get a call back. It's like leaving business cards around, okay? That's a huge thing to understand is that now you're there to earn their business, whether you have a sales engineering steps of the sale where you actually focus in on getting them qualified for a program, then you present it, but number one, super important, always get a trial close or a green light before you give your presentation or before you present the cost graph. Number two, you need to make sure that you actually warm up with the proper setup. So it's not just about presenting it to the merchant like, hey, here's what we can do, okay? It's not the proper way of presenting it. It needs to be something that's like, hey, we got you qualified, right? You put in an order, we got you qualified, we talked to the guy at the bank. Um, what I like to do before I present the cost graph is I say, hey, listen, we just got you qualified for this program come over here, so I bring them into my space, and I say, let me show you how this looks, okay? If I was gonna come in 30 days ago and sign you up like I'm going to today, this is what it would look like. Now notice what I did there, super important, okay? I'm already assuming in the close. I'm already saying, hey, if I was gonna come in 30 days ago and set you up just like I'm going to today, these same numbers off this current statement that you gave me or the numbers that you gave me earlier, this is what it would have looked like, right? And then you go through it line by line. Whether it's ERR, interchange plus, tiered pricing savings analysis, okay? It's super important. Then once you present it, okay, this is gonna lead us to, to point number three, you present it, you follow it up with what we call a guarantee letter or an, a, um, a company assurance letter is what we call it with Go Free Pay. It's called our guarantee letter, an assurance letter. It's, it's a document that puts everything that you just stated in writing, whether you have a cancellation fee, whether you don't have a cancellation fee, whether the lease, lease numbers are on there, whether they're not on there, whether it's free equipment, whatever it happens to be, but you don't just present, here's the cost graph, and then here's the guarantee letter, okay? You don't present it both at the same time. These are sales tools that you can use to end up closing that deal. So first off, number one, you got your green light, okay? Number two, you're properly setting it up. So, hey, I just got off the phone with my national accounts director, or hey, I just ran the numbers through my, 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 um, my program on my computer. Um, I just did the analysis myself, and this is what it would look like. So if I was gonna come in, John, 30 days ago and set you up just like I'm gonna do today, this is what it's gonna look like. Now let me show you. You present the cost graph, okay? You go over it in detail. As you're going over it, you're looking at your potential client, you're kind of seeing the reaction, and then you stop. You wait for objections, you wait for concerns, you wait for questions, and then you say, okay, great, so what do you think, right? So now you're kind of testing out the close. They say, great, well, you know, I kind of have to look at that. Well, hey, why don't we move forward on it? Because not only that, we also have this, okay? Now you're bringing in the guarantee letter. So you've, you've got the exchange of objections, you've finished that communication, and then you say, but hey, look, but also look, let's do it. We've got everything in writing for you, let's move forward. Of course, you told me that if we could do this, then, you, then I have an opportunity in your business, so let's do it. So keep that in mind, Slayers, three different ways on how to present a cost graph 
or sorry, three different points on how to properly present your cost graph, your savings analysis, whatever your ISO calls it. But it's important because that's your final presentation, right? So here it goes. So you, everything has been leading up in the steps of the sale to the final qualification, the final presentation that here's God's gift to earth. Here we go. Look what we can do for you. So you got your enthusiasm. You got everything there. So the three points just in review, super important. Number one, never present a cost graph unless you have a green light. Never present a cost graph unless you have the ability to move forward. Don't turn it into a highly paid billboard. Okay, number two, make sure that you have the proper setup. Okay, the whole build needs to be there. Then when it's presented, you need to assume the close. Use the right verbiage. Pr practice your presentation. So uh, mine is, again, I, I, it is a, a sumptive, right? So, hey, John, let me show you this. So if I was to come in 30 days ago and set you up with this just like I'm going to do today, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm already using that verbiage like it's closed, okay? Number three, you make sure that to add some or other value-added proposition that's going to support the guarantee letter, which is like an assurance letter or a guarantee letter. So keep slaying out there, guys. That's how you properly present a um, cash discount. Or sorry, that's how you properly present a uh, um, you know a guarantee or sorry a, ca a cost graph or a guarantee letter or uh, whatever it happens to be that your ISO wants you to present to get the close. Make sure you follow us on YouTube too, guys. And again, uh, shameless plug. Do you want to put it out there? We do have an amazing masterclass, guys. That's only fifty dollars. Okay, we uh, for the first fifty people. In, in trade for testimonials, it's card builder. It's over 17 hours worth of training, uh, video training. There's over 17 hours worth of activities that are meant to get you to close 30 deals a month, whether you sell traditional uh, processing, interchange plus, tiered, block ERR, or uh, um, you know flat rate, or cash discounting. It is the perfect program for you. So make sure you smash the like button, okay? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Merchant Services Slayers because it'll be on a few different other platforms. Rock and roll, and I will see you on the sales board, guys.